Make sure to subscribe for more content and click the notification bell to be updated. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this around with all your friends. They call me Pounds here, I'm known as 97. Eight customs create plus I rhyme. Great. Well, YouTube, what up? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. And right now, I want to talk to you guys about Spider Man, the Mass Marvel from the 616. This comes from the Amazing Fantasy. 15 that is when spider-man decided to wrestle to make some extra money and if you guys know the famous story where he wrestled against crusher hogan where in the sam raimi film it was macho man randy savage so when he beat crusher hogan i'm assuming he won a belt even though he didn't because it's just his first match but he got a belt here mass marvel's been one of my favorite designs it's so unique that it doesn't even look like spider-man and again the suit is so important to spider-man's origin story that they put it in both the first two Spider-Man movies, The Amazing Spider-Man and the Sam Raimi films. They changed the costume up. Both of those wrestling costumes are different, or vigilante costumes are different. But they both represent the mass Marvel suit. I hope we get one of these guys really soon from Hasbro because he would look really nice with the Peter Parker head that was given to us with the uh, new retro Spider-Man that's coming out. So Because he comes from that same era. So I would like to see one of, you know, this guy and then probably Clone Hunter Spider-Man in a similar wave. That would be great. Imagine that, Mass Marvel and Clone Hunter in the same wave. They they would utilize a lot of the same parts, so I don't see why not, which is a chameleon body. So with that being said, this is a kind of a chameleon body. This was the Iron Man, the MCU 10-year anniversary or 25-year anniversary, I'm not sure. But it was the two-pack, the Tony Stark that came with the MK1 armor suit what i did was take off the suit jacket remove the tie sand down the buttons and then sculpt over the line because it still leaves a line mark and sanded the body completely shaded the legs a little bit so they look like jeans almost because these are slacks but i think it does look like jeans so the illusion is there the pants look multicolored like some denim jeans and that's that's all right for me the hardest part was probably the head I'll tell you how I made that in a second. These hands come from a vulture, the new vulture figure. I took out the the uh, Tony Stark hands because they're, they're like gripping hands and they look cool too. But I think for the review, I wanted to give them these vulture hands. I'm sorry, the guy who bought this, you won't be getting the vulture hands. Hopefully you're not upset. If you need them, I guess I'll send them to you. But my intention was to only take a couple pictures with the vulture hands because they look like really good posing hands. The head, whoo. And the head wasn't too hard, but these lines become confusing, especially when you have no reference at the top. You just have to go for it. And I found the way, you know, so it's not too bad. But I think these are probably harder than cobwebs because of how they twist and turn around the head. It's crazy. When I started off, I thought it was going to be easy. But as I went along, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be pretty tough. And it was. So I don't want to make it again. Spider-Man and Spider-Man. Again, I think Mass Marvel is important to Spider-Man's storyline. I think most people know the wrestling story in the Spider-Man comics. You might not know who Crusher Hogan is or the Mass Marvel, or the, you know, by name, but you are familiar with Spider-Man being a wrestler at one point in time. So a figure paying tribute to that would be awesome. Spider-Man 2020, now is the time for Spider-Man 2020, but not right now, so stay tuned for that. When you first get these arms, they are deep blue. But have no worries, like every other Marvel legend, you can articulate this figure and pose it in any way you want. Um, you, you could be careful, but in most cases, you don't have to. I, I did my best to eliminate the paint rub. I can't say 100% because it never is 100%. Things do happen. So I will say be careful, I guess. I don't want to be too cocky, right? You know, The minute I say there's no paint rub, stuff will start chipping. But again, you are safe. Everything does articulate and bend. So do your thing and take some pictures. Like this one here, I was able to take and edit using my son's WWE ring, giving him the elbow from the top ropes. I think it's pretty cool. But you already know it's about what you think. This is why you're watching the video, right? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this. What could we have done to make it better? One thing I will say we could have done to make it a little more accurate is paint the shoes brown because in all the reference shots, or well, majority of them, like like four out of five of them, the shoes were brown. And I knew that, and, I, and on purpose, I decided not to paint it because it just wasn't a big deal. I'd rather just leave them factory. I like the way they shine, so black looks cool. Goes well with the suit. His belt is black. His black stripes on the gray mask, so I left it black. 
But anyway, guys, let me know. Appreciate the love. Give me a thumbs up, share with your friends if you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Choose to subscribe, you the man. Yes, you. Everyone below in the comments. Yes, you too. Thank you very much for showing me love. Who knew? It's ironic how we think out the box for you too, right? Sing, 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 sing. Everybody.